final product that we're going to be looking at today is a spill-free funnel, also from Lyle. And this is a funnel that's designed to go onto the radiator of your car when you're doing a radiator flush or otherwise opened up your coolant system and need to be able to get the air out. And so this funnel, this is 24680, and this is available for oh, about 25 bucks, and is, a, again, a very useful piece of kit to have uh, in your shop. Or your garage. So what you get with this, once I get all the plastic off, this nice clean new one, So now with the protective cap off here, you can see we actually get a little lid for this funnel here. This is just a storage lid. And then inside of here are the components that it comes with. The first thing that we see here is actually a plunger to be able to seal off the bottom of the funnel. And I'll explain why you might do that in a moment. And then we have this other bag here of accessory parts that go with this. And so this bag of accessories includes several radiator fittings. Depending upon the vehicle that you've got, whether you've got a cap that looks something like this, this is labeled D, this is marked A, and this is marked B. And then inside these fittings, we can take one of these couplers here to be able to fit let me get this right here. And here's C. So in the package here, we've got A, B, C, and D type radiator lids. And then we've got a variety of connectors here to be able to connect our funnel actually to the lid. So the bottom of our funnel can plug right into one of these adapters here. There's also an angled adapter that we can use to connect the funnel. If we need to offset it, there's also a little riser that we could rise it or connect it in series with the bend. And then on the top of the radiator, we'll take one of our plugs. And then we'll take the appropriate one here that fits our radiator. Now there's a couple of these, depending upon the vehicle that you've got. And not all of these will fit every size because they're designed to match what might be commonly found on the vehicles that would match the radiator caps. So you might have to play to get the right uh, combination for your vehicle. And then you'd take the appropriate one and put the rubber gasket down towards uh, your vehicle's uh, radiator top and then use the cap to screw it onto the radiator. And so in this case here, we've got this fitting here that'll go right down into the top of the radiator. And then take the funnel and plug it right on it like that. And then now your funnel will not spill or tip over while you're belching your radiator to get any air out of the system. And so then this plug at the top that's in here, what makes this nice is when you're filling your radiator, and you get your car on with the radiator fluid circulating uh, through the funnel, you can actually put this cap down and in to be able to save the leftover fluid that goes up your funnel because you're not going to get the last of the, of the fluid out of the funnel and back into your radiator system. You're going to lose a little bit of fluid in that process. Usually, a overflow valve is going to be blocked off by this process and you got to let your engine cycle off. But if you need to process this or just get your stuff disconnected and get back going, you can put your plug in the bottom of your funnel, disconnect everything and then get things sealed back up. And so this prevents a spill all the way around with the solid connection to your radiator top all the way down to the plug seal. And I love the fact of how this all then is conveniently packaged together and can be reassembled and stored as one unit. 
uh, if you're going to use this for your radiator flushes, you probably want to avoid using this uh, with other chemicals or oil. You might want to get a different funnel for that. Uh, and hopefully the yellow color uh, makes you uh, take notice of that. Typically most radiator funnels, uh, radiator funnels are yellow in color, although I've seen a few other fuel funnels that are also yellow in color. Uh, so if you color code your funnels, uh, you'll know that your yellow ones are for your radiators. Uh, if you're doing any sort of radiator maintenance or coolant system maintenance on your vehicle. All right, to put this funnel to use, the first thing we're going to need safety glasses. Don't do anything around the shop or around your, uh, around your car without them. So that's just a given, but always worth the reminder. So with our funnel pack, as I went through earlier in this video, what we're going to do to be able to put this to use is out of our, the accessories that it came with, we're going to have to select the appropriate one that fits my radiator cap. This is the right one for the vehicle I'll be showing you on today. And then, depending upon the way it's, where it's located in your vehicle, you may want some of the other extension tubes or the angle adapter to be able to get that uh, all set up. So then based on the cap that's selected, you're going to find the right setting here for your vehicle. This is the right one that goes with the cap. So this is going to go down into my radiator hole. This goes through here so it screws down on the radiator cap. That wash here helps keep it a nice firm seal. And then the funnel or the extension, again depending upon your vehicle type, that also affect what cap. I showed you the other four caps that it comes with in the kit earlier. Put the funnel, put the funnel on top, and then top of the funnel, I've got my plunger in here holding it shut. You can use that whenever you go to remove the funnel to make sure it's all shut. And so now let's go over to the vehicle and install it. Okay, so I'm at the vehicle here, and we got a radiator cap here. Make sure your engine is cold whenever you do this here. The engine coolant line is pressurized, so you don't want to get any uh, pressure because this will fly back in you. That's why you need to be wearing the safety goggles. And so slowly remove the cap because you never know, even if it's cold, there's still just a little bit of residual pressure in the line. Remove the cap. And in this case, you can see I've got some radiator fluid right there sitting right up at the cap line. And so now over here with the, now with the cap off, we're going to take our plug here and we're going to take this and we're going to set this in here. It should create a nice firm seal at the top. It might take a little bit of trying to get the right one selected. And we're going to screw our cap down around it so that will make a nice firm seal to keep everything from leaking out. So if you look now you can see a little bit of that fluid down there into the yellow piece. Now I'm going to take my funnel, snap my funnel on top like that, remove my ceiling plunger, and then now what I've got here is a leak-free funnel system. So if I need to be able to do a purge of the radiator, I can run the vehicle and all the coolant will back up into here. Then when I'm done, to help minimize leaks, I take the plunger, put it back in, remove this assembly here, take a paper towel, wipe it out, remove the cap here. There might still be a little bit of residual uh, coolant there. Uh, let the engine cool down so that everything can get back into uh, the storage tank. And then hopefully you'll be done with your job if you open up your radiator line, let it run, go through that process, which is a topic for a different video. I'm just trying to show the funnel here and how it keeps the leaks out. I really like the plunger here for sealing it up. Now you go to remove it just to make sure that nothing leaks out through the bottom of the funnel and onto yourself or on the floor. Again, just minimizing spills making sure your repair is done correctly. So I hope you found this useful and have a great day. Bye.